We're here at the Iowa 80 World's Largest Truck Stop. And it's also got a trucker museum in here. And you probably hear a little bit of wind today because I'm outside. But I'd like to check out some of these old antique trucks they got here at this truck stop. So if you ever stop in here, go out, go have a look around. You know the vehicles and things like that, classic vehicles, antiques. They have some great ones in this shop. All this stuff and everything, and then you look at the fifth wheel and you realize the design of that thing just has not really changed that much. Look at that. <laughs> anyway, pretty cool. Now I'm going to take a trip on in here. I'm going to do a few parts video on this because the main fact that uh, this place is huge. And they've got one, two, three, four. They got several older vehicles and trucks in here, and the army jeep and the semi and everything. So today I want to go through the, uh, the, uh, the store part up front. Of the store part and show you all what's in there. This place was established in 1964. They have a truck show jamboree here each year in July. I don't know if they had one this year. But it started in 1979, as you can see. Chicago Mint and Happy Wash, so if you got a pet and everything you need to get washed, there you go. Gift store, women's market, things. Selfie spots so you get a picture for the I-80. Truck stop and sign, but personally, I went on down to the truck at the semi. Now this semi is one they used to have in here, but they don't have it anymore. It's been replaced by a big red one with a full 53 foot trailer. And that's what they have in here now. And they double use that 53 foot trailer as storage for this place. And there's a little bit of 3.5 million trick jars in the USA. You've got it in a truck bought it, the average little all truck driver has 100,000 miles per year. We display serving 5,000 customers per day on average. This is a fun fact sport. This is where you first walk in. And then you walk on in. And if you look over to the left, you see we have a very classic Ford truck over here, flatbed. Can you imagine back in the day, people? That would be crazy. Look at that. And you think we get cramped nowadays. Man, that's Barry Sensors right there. We have Dooley. <laughs> Dooley wheels in the back. Look how thin that frame is, people. And hold it on its bed on just a few U-bolts. That's insane. Anyway, I just wanted to show you all that. Little truck right there. That'd be the first part of our stop here at the convenience store. Plenty of coffee to choose from. But I'm gonna be honest with you, when it comes to coffee, I'm still into the pilot. <laughs> the pilot truck stop to me, they have got that coffee thing down. Cappuccino machines. Now remember, this is only the first part of our store. This is only one floor, and I'm not gonna do the whole floor right now. I'm only gonna show you the convenience store part of this video. Lots of stuff to choose from and everything. That vitamin section here. Old time candy around the counters. So popcorn, cotton candy. So guys, if y'all wanna come and grab something, great place to start. Look at the barbecue sauces. It's by Green Luke Band. The guys, they have got it going on. They have private labeled a lot of stuff. Now, it may be a little bit higher priced, but you know, here's the truth of this private label stuff. It is a better product, but you don't want to get it at the store. Like the real one says. All right. <laughs> How you doing? 
Remember, we're only at the very beginning of the store. We haven't, we haven't hit hardly anything yet. The trailer, they built out of a pickup truck bed. Uses a stand in here. And then look at that old Dodge. Look at that winch on the front of that thing. Uh, our 80 truck museum. I don't know if I'd really call it a museum, <laughs> but it is pretty neat. Look at these older vehicles, but it seems to be like they should have a little plaque or something next to them telling you a little bit more about the vehicle. I think that would be neat. Now, I can't climb up here and see, but I'm gonna put my camper in there because I do want to see what's up in there. And I'll look at that later on when I get back in the truck. It's a 1947 Dodge Power Wagon. So a lot of these guys see these power wagons out here, a lot of these young kids think, oh, I got a brand new Dodge Power Wagon. Guys, they've had power wagons forever. Anyway, this is the gift store over here. It, it, guys, it's a pretty big size. This is the first floor gift shop. They got another one downstairs. They have two separate gift shops plus a toy store. Now I say gift shop, but to me, this is more of an apparel shop. Spring coming out. By the way, Cityscape Outfitters, one of our sponsors. You might want to go check out their page. They got some nice stuff coming out for spring. Yep. And that's the apparel section. Now I'll do the toy section tomorrow as I head on down to the regular truck stop part of the store because they do have a uh, whole section on there dedicated to nothing but truckers equipment lighting equipment all kinds i just want to get in the door today and show you the very beginning stuff up here this is like if you were a regular customer without a semi you would come in that front door over there and this is what would greet you <clears throat> but i know everyone on my channel is a truck driver so tomorrow i'll be entering through the truck driver stop shop and uh show you what all they offer down there that they don't offer up here. And it is a lot of different stuff. By the way, if you're hungry, not only do they have Wendy's over here, they got a game room too over there. So let's see if I can zoom in on the game. The game room, they got Wendy's, Taco Bell, across here, Pizza Hut, DQ, Caribou Coffee and Einstein Brothers Bagels. And that's just upstairs. They also have a full size restaurant, a full giant buffet and delicious. Now the buffet's closed right now because of, they're just not getting to the COVID thing. You normally have a buffet. Big restaurant. And that's just one floor, guys. And we'll get back with y'all later. Do part two videos.